a tribute to men that hate their jobs from Master X Media. Series 3, Episode 16, The Random Pisser. For the last few months, there have been a member of staff going into the staff and men's toilets and either pissing on the seat or pissing on the floor and sometimes even both. Now, unfortunately, it's either myself or a member of the front of house team that has to go and clean this up. And every time someone spots that someone's pissed on the toilet or on the floor, they get upset. And I don't blame them because I get upset as well. The bottom line is, it's one thing that a piece of shit wanker customer does something like that in the customer toilets but it seems absolutely personal when it's a member of the team and we know it's the kitchen team it's not the uh, it's not the front of house team because because I'm the only man on the front of house team everyone else is a girl so it has to have been someone from the kitchen there's no one else could be no one else and the final straw happened to me today the final straw it was me that had to clean the toilet it was my turn and I went into the crew room toilets and there it was the seat covered in piss and a big cascade of piss going down the side of the toilet and onto the floor this has been done only minutes ago I was close. I was really fucking close. And at this point, I blew a fucking fuse. I knew that the cunt was in here somewhere. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I went into the, I stormed out of the crew room and there was a lad in there. How long have you been on break for? I said. About 15 minutes. Okay, cool. Who's been in the toilet since you've been here? Oh, it was Benjamin. Benjamin was it? Okay, no worries. Thank you very much. Why is that? Because Benjamin's the one who's been pissing all over the fucking toilet seat and on the floor. And now I'm going to teach that motherfucker a lesson. Oh shit, he said. Yes. Oh shit. Indeed. Indeed. So I have your word because remember there's a camera just there. You're not lying to me, are you? I've got to ask you this question before I go in there because I have to find out for sure. Yeah, it was Benjamin who did it five minutes ago. Five minutes ago. Okay then, okay. I'm gonna love this and no one else has been in there. Absolutely no one else. Excellent, excellent. I stormed out and then went into the back, into the back end of the kitchen where Benjamin was. Doris, I said. Doris is the area manager of that section of the kitchen. Doris, I found out who the random pisser is because it happened five minutes ago. You sent Benjamin to the toilets, didn't you? Yeah. Well, Benjamin's pissed all over the toilet seat and no one else has been in there. You've got the lad in the, to in the crew room who said in front of the camera and he, that he hasn't been in there. And we can verify this. Can you go and check the camera for me, please? Yeah, sure. Okay. Five minutes later, and Benjamin is looking at me. He's heard everything I said. Oh, Benjamin, I said, while she's checking the camera, do you want to come over here? Because if you start confessing, it's gonna be a lot easier on you. It wasn't me. Oh, I suppose it was the Tooth Fairy. I shouted across the kitchen. Yeah, some of the kids trying not to laugh. So, you're telling me that it wasn't you, yet you went to the toilet last, and you've been witnessed as being the only person that's gone in there. Now, how about you just come over here? Come over here. Don't make me fucking shout at you across the kitchen. Come over here. And stupidly, he came over here. Right. 
he came over here into the dive area and if you don't know what dive is it's it's a sinks just outside the kitchen where everything gets cleaned at the end of the night with the jet hoses on the sinks etc etc right so you're telling me that you went into the toilet and you didn't report that someone pissed on the toilet and on the floor now it's still there have you got anything you wish to say to me right now other than it wasn't me no it wasn't me okay shaggy now listen to me you fucking little piece of shit i know it's you now i'm gonna give you one chance one fucking chance and if you don't take this chance then there will be serious fucking trouble my pedigree chum you piece of shit did you or did you not clean it and if did you or did you not piss on there and if you did you go and clean it up right now and you never do it again at this point Doris comes around the corner and she sees me but she stays back a little bit she, I could see that she's enjoying this because unfortunately Benjamin is not a, is not a popular member of the kitchen team and in fact he's a real pain in the ass. now it's your one and only chance now come on it's your opportunity to absolve yourself by cleaning it up or oh, what are you going to do said Benjamin what am I going to do what am I going to do well you do know that I've handed in my notice yeah that means I don't care if I get fired do I what do you mean by that well I leave in a matter of days so a few days wages is not going to um, affect me in any way so go on make your choice you either clean it up or you take the or else box the secret mystery box the star prize yeah what are you gonna do about it what am I gonna do about it now this last little thought just seemed like an eternity to me so I can go I can stop there and tell you guys what was going through my mind at this point he dares me he t he challenges me he dares me he tasks me he thinks that i'm not going to do anything about it now what he doesn't know is in my normal profession if someone pissed me off i would lock them in a flight case tip them on their nose and ship them out on the back of a truck but i don't have that luxury Another thing I would do back in my uh, normal industry is fly a bar down. Gaff take both your wrists to the bar, all stretched out, and fly you up. A nice mock crucifixion. And I'd start throwing nuts and bolts at you. Because it's a done thing in my industry. But I didn't have that luxury because I didn't have any flight cases and I sure as shit didn't have a fly bar or a gaffer tape handy. You're taking the fucking piss. What am I gonna do? Well, get a load of this. I went up close to him, put my arm around his uh, shoulders and neck and started walking him in towards the crew room and stupidly he came. What are you doing? Well, you see, I've got a problem with what you're saying. Now, I know it's you. We all know it's you. Even the camera knows it's you. Now, I've got a massive problem with you. I mean, a massive problem because to me and the rest of the front house team, we find you pissing on the seat and the floor incredibly personal and aimed directly at us. And we don't know why. Now, to be honest, I couldn't give a fuck what, about the why. I can't care less. And to be honest, they can't care less. They want it to stop happening. Now, see this i swung the door open to sit towards the toilets you see this yeah and i tightened my grip around his shoulder this upsets all the girls they shouldn't have to mop your piss up they shouldn't have to do it see for me i can understand why a piece of shit customer would do it because he thinks he's because he thinks that we deserve it yeah do you think we deserve to have to deal with this do you? He said nothing. Well, now your last chance has 10 seconds. 
10 seconds and I moved him closer to the toilets. And at this point there was a bit of resistance because he was probably thinking, what is he going to do? What's he fucking gonna do? He's out of supervision on the camera. What's he going to do? Now, you've got five seconds left, mate. Five fucking seconds. Is there anything that you want to do? Four, three, two. And before I even said one, I moved my hand across his shoulder and onto his neck. Then with my left leg, I hacked away at his legs so he fell forward towards the toilet. And I got his neck and shoved his head down the fucking toilet and I started flushing repeatedly, knowing full well that I had not touched the toilet and he's now covered in his own fucking piss and other God knows what he might have wanked in there for I knew and I didn't give a flying fuck. It's been 24 hours since that toilet was clean so there's a lot of shit that's gone down that fucking toilet and a lot of fucking piss. And he struggled for breath. He struggled as I kept pumping the chain and then the, then the cistern had run out of water. I lifted his head up. Are you fucking sorry you cunt? Are you fucking sorry? He gasped for breath. Oh, I guess that wasn't a sorry. And I shoved his head back through the pissed over seat and flushed again and kept pumping the water until the system ran out once more. Are you fucking sorry, you cunt? Are you fucking sorry? Uh, 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 please, please don't, please don't. Are you fucking sorry, you cunt? Nah, obviously not. I shoved his head through the pissy toilet seat once more and flushed the chain once more and then kept pumping it until the cistern had emptied out once more and I pulled him up and all this water flicked around the room now look at you all covered in your own fucking piss now you fucking wait there you little piece of shit because I'm gonna fucking have you now you piece of shit I'm gonna fucking have you now I marched out and I marched back in two seconds later with the cleaning chemicals and the and the paper towel and the bin. Now you fucking clean that up right now, you cunt. You fucking clean that up before you go to the kitchen. Now fucking do it. Go on, fucking do it, you piece of shit. And I made him clean the toilet up whilst he was soaked in his own piss and toilet water. At this point, a crowd had gathered around the crew room, which they shouldn't have been doing because of coronavirus restrictions. You only allowed three people in the crew room. But it seemed at this point that near enough all the kitchen had gone into the crew room to watch me torture this piece of shit. Right, I walked back out whilst he was cleaning. Okay guys, that's what happens if you piss in the toilet seat every single day and on the floor. Now, would I have done this had I uh, not handed him my notice? Yes, I would have. I would have risked getting fired because it's bang out of order. And by me doing that, it goes to reinforce the point that you are supposed to treat people with dignity and respect, or you end up having your fucking head flushed. And I walked through the crowd to a few cheers and a round of applause. And I went up to Doris, who was at the back of this crowd, who had a bit of a smirk on her face. I think you might want to send him home because you don't want you, I don't think you want him handling food right now because he's covered in his own piss. She looked at me, no, 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 I can't afford to send him home. He's going to be in dive with all the dirty pieces of the kitchen and clean them down so he can clean himself off at the same time. That is highly efficient of you, Doris, I said. I love that idea. I love that idea. How many days left? Um, I've got four days left. Well, I think I'm gonna put you on a final warning. That's absolutely fine, Doris. Get the paperwork printed and I shall do this. And it absolves you of all your sins for allowing this to happen. Yes, thank you very much for, for that because it does help me out a lot. That's absolutely fine, Doris. Please put it in the report. I will. <laughs> I will.